everyone, welcome back to The Sims Medieval for our second episode. This part I have added in a barracks, as you can tell. And uh, let's find something to do. Before I continue, I would like to let you guys know ahead of time that all three of my animals are in here. That's right, we have Itchy, we have Morty, and we have Peaches. Peaches are the, our brand new addition. So, let's get on with finding a quest. Uh, Contents Genie. Or Crab Bandit, Ominous Tides, Royal Holiday, Family Crest, Hungry Hungry Hamfast, The Fisherman's Challenge, The Legend of the Talking Frog. Kind of want to go with this lad. The Legend of the Talking Frog. Rumors of a talking frog named Furgo have <laughs> Furgo had been spreading around Gondor for a few days. This wasn't just another fairy tale that had captured the minds of the kingdom. There really was a magical frog out there somewhere. Someone would have to find this talking frog. All right, talking frog's leg. <laughs> talking frog's legs. A totary romance. Uh, I don't have the party requirements for this one, apparently. Figure out how to find the talking frogs and find someone willing to transform the frog with a special kiss. I might actually wait for that one, although... Figure out how to find the talking frog, then eat, drink, and be merry. Hmm. Which one? Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, frogs are high in protein. Now, so for the barracks you got to make a knight, I made Sir Aomir. Again, if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings, you should watch it. It's the best ever. Alright, let's eat this frog. Let's eat it. With Aomir. Frogs are high in protein. Do it, Aomir! Let's eat it. The kingdom had been abuzz with the talk of a frog. Talk of a magical frog that talks. The castle requested an audience with Sir Aomir to discuss these curious reports. Okay. Well... Let's go hold an audience with the king. Hold audience with talking frogs. Whoop. Oh yeah, Sir Aomir. Actually, if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings, Aomir is like so fun. Oh. Sir Aomir, I need to know the validi validity, validity of these rumors. Go now and learn the truth. If I'm satisfied, I may let you live. I call it motivation. Oh my god. I better ask the townsfolk about the talking frog or the monarch will make sure I croak. Oh dear. That was horrible. Alright. Ask townsfolk about talking frog. Hey, this merchant. Heard anything about a talking frog? See? See, your highness, I'm actually doing it. Okay, can you talk to me now, please, sir? You <laughs> it's true, I hear she used to be a queen, goes by the name Furgo. A queen, you say? Whoops. Hey, find more people to talk to. Here, we'll talk to this guard. How many people do I have to talk to? Oh, it doesn't say. Well! What are my tasks? Guard, forest, entrance, and pay my taxes. Supposedly you have to wear the magical Fraga hat. It'll make you look so peaceful that Frogo won't be scared to talk to you. It can be found among stalagmites, the saying goes. Hmm, among stalagmites, I've written down this clue. Perfect, because I almost missed that. Let's see. Ask towns about where Frogo hides. Find the Frogga hat. Perfect. We're gonna ask this lady. Excuse me. Do you know where the frog hides? The magic one. I want to eat it. I heard a song about Frogga. It said she could be found in a place surrounded by wooden giants that hold up canopies of green and autumn gold. Okay, I've written this clue down. Perfect. Alright, now I gotta look for this hat. I still need a way to lure her out. I should ask around more in a bit. Okay, let's see here. 
Um, where do I find this? I should find... I should figure out this clue in order to locate the frog hat. Check inventory for clue. No, I don't want to learn more. Salt. The frog hat can be found amongst stalagmites. Stalagmites? What the hell is that? Um, let's pay your taxes. And then we're gonna ask somebody else about the frog shit. Pay taxes, the hundred dollars. Alright, Amy deposited a hundred dollars. There, one thing done. And then this one's guard forest entrance, we'll do that later. I need to ask how to meet this frog. Whoop, excuse me, ma'am. You know how I can meet the frog? Where are we going over here? How many needs? Pretty good. Quinev Wigella. Ah. A sapphire orb named the Ancient Frog's Tear will lure out Frog Frogo out. Myth foretells that it can be found in a place that has smothered the breath of many a human. Literally killed them, this place has. Ah shit, I didn't see that, but I'm pretty sure it said I've written this clue down. Look at that. Okay. Um, gotta find the frog ahead. I should figure this clue out this clue in order to locate the ancient frog tears. Okay, what was the clue? Go for us. Oh, myth foretells that it can be found deep in a cold blue. Okay, so the ocean? Whoops. Going everywhere. Gotta go to the ocean then. No? I mean, that's my first guess. Go to the docks. I wonder if I can go on this ship on, like, an adventure and look for... Search deep in the sea! I think that might be our ticket to the tears. Gold blue ocean has smothered the breath of many a fallen sailor. The ancient frog's tear must be out here. What I thought too. Sky looks red from here. I wonder if that's good luck. Ooh, thousands of leagues from any land. Aomir felt like he was in the right spot. Drop anchor, he yelled. Guess I'll dive right in. Hmm. Don't die. Yes, this is it. The mystical ancient frog's tear. Oh yeah, baby, we found it. Uh huh. Excellent, now I can lure Fergo from hiding. Perfect. Now, I have to find this Ferga hat. Find the Frogga hat. And, okay, what is the clue for that? Location! Solved! Beautiful. Uh, the Frogga hat can be found among the stalagmites. Okay, would that be at the forest? I don't know what a stalagmite is. I don't know if it's a made-up word. I just don't know. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna guard the entrance of the forest for a bit, just to get that done. Keeps their uh, focus up. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do that, and then I guess we'll go into the forest and see if we can find stalagmites. Search deep in the forest. There we go. I think we're on the right track, you guys. Except I went the wrong place. Whoops. Dumbass. Frogger came out! Frogu could be heard singing about the giant frog's tear you were carrying, but hopped away when you got too close. There must be something else you could find to keep Frogo from getting scared away. Oh, okay, so the hat actually isn't here. This is where she is, is in the forest. Okay, but I actually have to uh, guard the forest entrance first. How do I do that? Hello? Hello! There we go. Um, Guard the forest entrance for a while, and then we'll go find this hat. Actually, we'll go back to the barracks, eat something, sleep for a bit, and then... Oh! Sir Amir made his way through the forest, letting his mind wander as the beauty of the forest enveloped him. Sensing something was following him, Aomir hid by the side of the path. Sure enough, a magnificent rare unicorn soon appeared from a meadow. Its white horn sparkling in the dappled light, completely unaware of Aomir's presence. Ooh. Hold still or kill it? Oh, hell no, we do not kill unicorns. Sir Aomir knew not to move. The slightest disturbance disturbance might scare the unicorn off. 
as it was not every day that one had the opportunity to see a magical creature, so Aomir decided to relish the moment for as long as possible. Yeah, hell no, we do not kill. We do not kill unicorns. So Aramia trembled with anticipation and awe as the magical creature drew near. It trotted into the light, whoop, well, almost within reach. Its curling horn gleaming and sparkling, it, it grazed on some flowers for a moment, then sensing Aomir's presence, reared up on its hind legs and then dashed off into the trees. Sir Aomir was beside himself with excitement and delight, having witnessed such a miraculous creature. Wouldn't we all be like that? We received 50 XP in the joyful buff. Yas. Okay, and we've completed both things. Let's head back to the barracks. Whoopies! And get some noms, because we really need it. Whoa, where am I going? Now that we're up, let's see if we can find out. Would it be at the market? Like, would it be that easy? Only if I knew what stalagmites were. Go to the village shop. If I find it there, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Alright, so there was no luck finding the frog I had there. However, I did spend some cash money and got some actual food. So, oh. we'll be set for a little. Uh, I just want to see what stalagmites are and if... If uh, Google will answer that for me. Just a second. Okay, stalagmites. A mound or tapering column rising from the floor of a cave. Oh, now I know where to look. I do believe. Anyway, possibly. If I can. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Search deep in the cave. That's where we're going, friends. Stalagmites are found in caves, so this must be where the frog hat is. It's dark in here, like when my eyes are closed, but with less light. Oh, I think I found a stalagma- Ew, that's a tall pile of frog droppings. Ew, don't touch that. Ooh, deep in the cave, a dark tunnel yawned before Sir Aomir. He ventured in and felt around in the pitch dark. Amidst a pile of human bones, he found the frog -a hat Oh, hell yeah! We know our stuff! Excellent, now if I wear this frog -a hat I won't scare frog away. Oh my god, what do I look like with this hat on? Hold on, hold on. Where? Oh. My. <laughs> god, it's amazing. Oh. oh man, I wish I knew how to screenshot in this game, because I totally would. <gasps> it's amazing. Okay. Now we gotta find Frogo, and we know exactly where to go now. Do, 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 do. Where is the forest? Over here. Search deep in the forest. Here we go, you guys. All right, I've got my frog hat. The ancient frog's here, and I know Frogo is hiding in this forest somewhere. Let me just put the ancient frog's here on this rock on the edge of the pond. The f There's Frogo. Here she comes. Let's eat her. Yummy, yum, yum. Frogo grabbed the ancient frog's tear and quickly ha hit it, then hopped back. Damn it. Frogo looked at Aomir and said, Hey, bub, thanks for the giant sapphire. You know, I'm the one that started those rumors about needing it to find me, and it worked. Now I'm rich. You're a frog. By the way, you look idiotic in that hat. Hee <laughs> hee, did you believe that rumor too? Okay, thanks, bye. What a bitch. That frog duped me! So, Frogo really exists, but she's kind of a bitch. The monarch will want to know what happened. Okay, let's go tell Lord Aragorn that the frog is evil. Excuse me, your highness, this frog is a bitch. And this new hat is totally ballin'. Bedeviled creature! It's the same Queen Frogo that was... We banished when we discovered she was trying to overthrow all kingdoms of the land. Go kill it. I want magical frog's legs. Uh, does the frog really deserve to die? I have to make a choice. Yeah, she's a total bitch! What should Sir Aomir do? If I hunt Frogo down, Frogo, I can make magical frog's legs for Lord Aragorn. I should alert Frogo that her life is in danger. Hell no, we're killing her. 
I don't want to risk my life for a frog that insulted me. I will hunt Froga down for her legs. And maybe Aomir will let us eat said eggs. Okay, what do I need to do? Feed the beast and sharpen sword. Just uh, do that here. Sharpen sword. So I'm going to do some of my tasks, or I'm going to do this task, get something to eat, and then we'll go back to Froga. Hunt Froga. Here we go. We're on a frog hunt. I've got Froga. Haha, <laughs> now to cook her up good. Let's go cook this bitch up. Make food. Talking frog legs. Yummy, yum, yum. I have an extra bowl of talking frog legs for the monarch. They're just screaming to be eaten. Okay, let's go give this Lord Aragorn talking frog legs. Yummy, yum, yum. Here you are, sir. Talking frog legs on the menu. Ah, uh, simply delectable. I have done more for, or you have done more for Gondor than you even know. Good work, Sir Aomir. Now he's got a sore belly. Yeah, can I eat the talking frog legs now? Quest completed! You completed the quest at silver level. Well done. Thank you. Uh, the legend of the talking frog. Rejoice! The monarch got a brilliantly re prepared dish of talking frog's legs. And Sir Aomir ensured, ensured, ensured Gondor was a better place to live. Aha! As the renown of Gondor grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Gondor found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So, with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. Sweet! Congratulations, Aomir has reached night level two! Yay! So we've got our reception hall now. That was a very interesting quest. It was kind of anticlimactic at the end. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of thought so. I thought she was going to like be like, Wait, if you spare my life, I will grant you wishes. But no, we like murdered her up. So, whatever. But that was episode two of Sims Medieval. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. I had a good time. And next time, I guess we'll pick another quest. I don't think we have enough stuff to... Oh, you know what? I think we do. I think we have enough stuff to get another building. So let me let me know what you guys want for another building. And we'll be back with another quest next time. Goodbye.